is, um, let's see here. Okay, so uh, uh, Scott has been clear that shipping furniture to Hawaii is for the most part a bad idea. Dylan has mentioned that if you're going to do it, do it like a, on a, a whole container basis. But what about a car? And if you ship a car to Hawaii, do all cargo freighters like Matson go through the port of Honolulu and then have to be transferred to another freighter to end up at Kauai, Maui, or the Big Island? So that's Tom's question about you know shipping a car. So let's talk about those, a couple of uh, those, those issues on on car on shipping a car. So Tom, quickly, first of all, um, shipping a car is is though you know you have to kind of do your own math and kind of figure out if you have the right kind of car and th think about what you could sell for and what you would pay for a car uh, uh, in Hawaii. Right now, the the used car market is kind of crazy, so it might be it might be worth it. You're looking at three grand, two three grand to ship a car uh, to Hawaii, and yes, all shipping comes first if i'm not mistaken please and i'm going to have my friends correct me if i'm wrong all automobile uh, all automobile shipping comes first into the port of honolulu and then you get on another uh barge typically i believe it's young brothers they may be the exclusive inter-island shipping company but you get on young brothers and you ship your car uh to to the island so that's that's the way that basically works um what words of wisdom we need to add uh to tom who's looking to ship his car here yeah, I just had this conversation three days ago. Um, person moving for had moved over here from Reno. They were looking at shipping two cars, and if they drove the cars to like LA, LA to ship out of the port, port directly, then it was fifteen hundred dollars here to Oahu. Uh, they had two cars, so it'd be three grand. But if they shipped it from Reno to LA, then LA um, out of the port, it would have been three grand per car. So they decided to sell one car, ship. Uh, drove the other one to LA, had it shipped, and then they're going to buy a second one here, uh, save them, save them quite a bit of money. You know, I got to tell you, as someone <clears throat> when I first uh, moved here uh, uh, in the mid '80s, that that's that's basically what I did. I had my car, and I had this phenomenal, cool, awesome adventure. I did a cross country trip. Uh, this was from Chicago and uh, to San Francisco, and you know, dropped off the car at the dock. It was it, it, it was it was a great adventure. Uh, let's see, we got a couple of people here with us. Hey, Wes, Wes is uh, Wes is an alumni of the Islander Ohana. Uh, welcome, Wes. Good to see you, buddy. Uh, say hi to to, to Jess for me, uh, and. Uh, 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 Joyce uh, says a shipping to a car from Oakland. Yeah, it took less than ten days for twelve hundred. Picked it up in, in Hilo. That's a good. I'm going to call that a good deal uh, from Oakland to Hilo because you got the Oahu leg and you got the Hilo leg. That's that's awesome. Uh, I had a great experience, by the way. I uh, the the car, the 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 famous star of the show, the that Porsche, that my convertible Porsche came actually Dylan from the Big Island. It was I, I picked it up. I, I flew into flew into Kona picked it up, drove it across the island. Uh, it was, had a great road trip. I dropped it off in, in Hilo and uh, showed up on my, my doorstep. Uh, Rhonda says, I shipped furniture from Texas to Oahu with two thirds of my, uh, and two thirds of my shipment didn't even show up. Ouch, ouch. Uh, my trucks were only 2,200 each. Sorry about that, Rhonda. Um, that's, uh, that's not what we, that's not what we want to have happening. All right. Uh, let's, it's uh, Dylan, uh, anything, what, if I was going to ship something to the big island, is there anything else that I need to know about as far as shipping a, a car to the big island? No, the, yeah. Process wise, that's correct. Um, you know, I think the prices have gone up over the last year. I know previously the last truck I bought, I bought from, uh, Oregon and shipped it here because I saved seven to 10,000 on the purchase price and paid the thousand bucks to ship it. So, uh, there, there is some, some value potentially to shipping a car here depending on the car, but you should shop around because we have somewhat of a monopoly here on the dealerships. And so there is a premium to buying cars here. And if you can get it cheaper on the mainland or you have your car paid off, it may be worthwhile just to ship it over. Yeah. And if we're going to, uh, we can branch in that topic a little bit. If you, if, if you do buy a car, Dylan, did you, there's like a, uh, there's a tax agreement between certain states, right? So if you buy the car uh, on on some X state, you still have to pay the uh, the either the general excise, the Hawaii general excise tax, or some kind of a you, you you don't avoid the tax, but you get a lower price, presumably. Is that what's what, what what's going on? Yeah, correct. Okay, got it. Good. Um, Heidi, anything? You, uh, is there anything uh, anything else I, I should know if I'm going to ship a car uh, to Maui? Um, I mean, not really. You covered it. I mean, all cars here, they come from somewhere else anyway. Yep. Um, just if you're moving, I, I mean, maybe most people know this, but sometimes we've been asked is, no, you can't just put all your suitcases and everything in your car and ship your car. They don't let you do that. 
Uh, good one. We get that a lot. I get that a lot. Can you stuff? Can I stuff my van? I, if I'm not mistaken, you even have to have your gas tank like all, no more than one quarter full of gas, so you can't even fill your gas tank for crying out loud. Scott, uh, any uh, a 